Hello everyone, welcome to day 12th of September Lead Code Challenge and today's question is reachable nodes in subdivided graph. So I'll be explaining the question as well as the solution in the presentation. So without much ado, let's move on to the PPT. Reachable nodes in subdivided graph, lead code 224. It's a hard problem in lead code. However, the concept is not a new concept for us. We have solved plenty of questions on the same logic. So I'll be talking about this in the solution section. So let's try with understanding the question first. In this question, we are given an undirected weighted graph and the weight signifies the number of new intermediary nodes that need to be formed from the source index to the destination index. For example, here the weight is given to us as 10. That means we need to form 10 more intermediary nodes in between. So we have added 10 more nodes here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Similarly, between 0 to 2, we need to add one more node. So we have added it here. From 2 to 1 or 1 to 2, you need to add two more nodes in between. So you have added two more nodes. Now what we need to do, we need to tell how many nodes are reachable from the 0th index in this graph provided you can only make a fixed set of moves and the number of max moves that you can make is also given in the question. For example, in the question, the max moves value was given as 6. So starting from 0th index, at max taking 6 steps ahead, how many nodes are reachable? So let's try and count those. So this is the first node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and you can't go beyond this because uh, the max moves that you can take is 6. These are the first 6 nodes. Then we have the 0th node itself. So this counts for 7. Then we have this node. So distance of 0 to this node is 1. So this is reachable. Distance of 0 to this node is 2. So this node is reachable. Distance of this node and this node is 1, 2, 3. So this is also reachable. Distance of this node with this node is 4. This node is reachable. Distance of this node with this node is again 5. This node is reachable. Also, this node is also reachable from 0 because the distance of this and this particular node is 6. And we can take at max 6 moves. So uh, what does this signify? Can we get some information out of this? On the similar lines that we have done in the past, the answer is yes. The first and the basic naive approach is to update this graph, make new insertions at intermediary nodes, and then try to find out the shortest distance of each node from the source node. For example, the shortest distance of this particular node from zero is six by this route. However, there is another route possible uh, by this way. So the distance between zero and this particular node is 10 here. So we will skip that. What does this remind you of? This reminds me of shortest distance problem that we usually solve using the Dijkstra algorithm. So if you don't know the Dijkstra algorithm, I would recommend you guys to watch the video where I explained the Dijkstra algorithm in detail. I'm attaching a link below. So do give it a shot. Once you know how the Dijkstra algorithm internally works, come back to this question and go through the video starting from here. I hope you are now aware of the Dijkstra algorithm and uh, what we are going to do, the basic naive approach tells us to identify the shortest distance of each node from the starting node once you have inserted all the new nodes at intermediary levels. Uh, you have this information, we will try and calculate the count by checking what what for what all nodes the shortest distance is less than or equal to 6. If uh, there are any nodes where the shortest distance of that particular node from the 0th node is less than or equal to 6, we'll increment our count, otherwise we'll skip that node. There is one challenge with this approach. What we are doing here is we are updating the complete graph, making new insertions and then performing the Dijkstra algorithm for each node. Can we optimize this? The answer is yes, so that it doesn't lead to TLE. So let's talk about the optimized approach here. 
instead of keeping track of the shortest possible distance we will keep track of how many remaining moves can be taken from each node how will this information help us so let's try and understand it from the 0th node how many max moves can we take we can take at max 6 nodes from this particular node 2 how many max moves we can take we can take 4 node 4 moves how because one node is consumed here the other node is consumed here the remaining are 4 from this particular node how many max moves can be consumed uh, there is only one move that you can take from this particular node how because uh, it, uh, the five moves are consumed by virtue of this path 1 2 3 4 and 5 if you are standing at this particular node how many max moves you can take only one move what we can conclude from this we can conclude that those nodes that are closer to zero will have a greater value of max moves than the nodes that are far away from uh, zero for example two is far away from zero hence the max moves value is lower one is again far away from zero hence the max max move value is lowest so this is a takeaway uh, from this complete hypothesis that we drew and we will use this hypothesis to build the comparator of a priority queue the priority queue that we use in the jixra will have two attributes in it the identity of the current node and the remaining moves that can be taken it will choose the element from the priority queue that has maximum remaining moves because that will tell us which node is currently closest to zero just remember this point now let's start the iteration by default where are we standing we are standing at the 0th node therefore we'll make an insertion into the priority queue which would be 0 comma 6 0 signifies the identifier of the node and 6 signifies the max move that can be taken from the current node which is 6 in this case also uh, we have built an adjacency matrix that signifies the starting index your ending index and the number of intermediary nodes slash the distance that you need to travel uh, to reach the ending node for example uh, starting from the 0th index up till 1 how many intermediary nodes need to be formed it's 10 from 1 to 0 since it was undirected we have the same value as 10 from 0 to 2 it's 1 from 2 to 0 it's 1 again from 1 to 2 it's 2 from 2 to 1 it's 2 again so let's start the iteration and let me just create the result variable that will hold the answer for me and initially it is initialized to 0 what we are going to do we'll pull out the element from the priority queue and this element is 0 since we have we are currently visiting this element so we will mark it visited and we'll increment the result as 1 because uh, this node is reachable from 0 now let's pull out all the links that are there in this complete adjacency matrix starting from 0 and uh, the first link that we can see is from 0 to 1 we, you can start from 0 go up till 1 and the number of intermediate nodes that are there are 10 so the there is another information that was given while pulling out the element from the priority queue the max moves that you can take the max moves value that we got is 6 that means from 0 you can at max reach 6 more nodes however the total nodes up till 1 is specified as 10 so what you should do you should pull select only those nodes that are reachable at max which in this case is 6 what we are going to do we'll choose the minimum one out so out of 6 and 10 the minimum value is 6 and what you're going to do you will simply increment your answer variable with the minimum of these two so the answer gets updated to a 7 from 1 you are adding 6 to it and you have visited all these intermediary nodes starting from 0 up till uh, this particular node in the direction of 1. Apart from this we will also reduce the nodes that lie between 0 and 1 because you have already consumed these 6 nodes so the distance or the nodes count get reduced from 10 uh, to 4 
for the remaining set of nodes that are there so we'll update the distance or the node count of intermediary nodes uh, to 4 for 0 to 1 also for 1 to 0 so this gets updated to 4 and let's move for the next iteration there is another node that is reachable from 0 which is 2 and what is the distance or the intermediary node count uh, from 0 till 2 it's 1 there is only one node possible now you will see a slightly different case uh, the maximum reach is 6 from 0 to 2 and there is only one intermediary node possible so what you are going to do you will uh, select the one which has the minimum value out of 6 and 1 which has the minimum value the minimum value is 1 because you are visiting this particular node and uh, as soon as you visit this particular node you will increment the value of your result to 8 the value gets updated to 8 apart from this uh, the node count starting from 0 till 2 gets updated to 0 1 minus 1 is 0 and from 2 to 0 again it gets updated to 0 because you are consuming this no particular node apart from this there is another thing that we need to do uh, we need to identify the reach that is possible starting from 2 going in the outwards direction that reach would be equal to uh, 6 minus 1 minus 1 more because uh, 0 is al was also part of it so 6 minus 1 for this and 1 for this gives us gives me 4 so since it was a happy case where you have not exhausted all your limit of max moves you will add back into the priority queue 2 comma 4 from 2 in the outwards direction at max you can make 4 moves this is the information that we have dumped into the priority queue for the further iterations to happen let's continue the iteration in the priority queue there is only one element possible uh, so we'll pull that element out this element is removed from the priority queue and as soon as it is removed we will mark it as visited and we will update the result because you are actually visiting this node now so the result get updated by 1 and the value becomes 9 what is the max reach that is possible from this node it is 4 so the max reach is 4 and in how many directions can we go we can go in two directions one is 0 towards 0 the other one is towards 1 so let's talk about towards 1 first and then we will talk about towards 0 starting from 2 you can go towards 1 in uh, two steps at max so uh, the value or the number of intermediary nodes is 2 which is lower than 4 what you're gonna do you will obviously extend your reach and mark these two nodes as visited since you are marking these two nodes as visited you will increment the result value by 11 also you will reduce the reach to 0 since you have con you are consuming these two nodes we will update this to 0 for further iterations to happen apart from this we will make a new insertion into the priority queue and what that insertion would be starting from 2 you can reach 1 in how many steps you have to take 3 steps 1 2 and 3 therefore the reach from 1 would be reduced to 4 minus 3 which is 1 this is what you are going to add into a priority queue from 2 you can go up till the first node and uh, for reaching those that node you have to consume three more steps this value gets reduced by 3 and you make an insertion 1 comma 1 let's continue the iteration now again we'll pull out element from the priority queue one gets pulled out and the maximum reach possible from one is one only uh, since you are visiting one for the first time you will mark it as visited and increment your answer to 12 so how many nodes are reachable from one there are two paths possible one towards the zeroth direction and in that direction there are only four remaining nodes which are highlighted here the other path is towards 2 itself from 1 you can go up till 2 but you have consumed all the nodes uh, in the past so I'm not talking about that part 
let's talk about the code of it starting from one i have to go towards zero and there are four remaining nodes there uh, the reach that i currently have is of one max moves so out of four i have to select only one max move what is the minimum value of these two the minimum value of these two is one what you're going to do you'll increment the answer to uh, by one and the answer becomes 13 also you'll reduce the value here by one it becomes three similarly this value also becomes three and you have visited this particular node the, uh, the since we are done with the iteration now the answer becomes 13. this tells us the complete picture how we are making moves while keeping track of the remaining moves that are possible from each node if there's some confusion don't worry everything will be crystal clear in the coding section so let's move on to the coding part i'll exactly follow the same steps as i told in the presentation the first thing that i have done here is to build that table the adjacency matrix or the graph uh, starting from edge dot zero up till the destination edge i assign the distance equal to the intermediary nodes possible governed by edge at the rate second index i have iterated over all edges that were passed in the input question and by default if there is no edge possible it will be identified by minus one let's walk ahead here i have defined my answer variable and the boolean visited array so as to avoid looping conditions i have defined the priority queue and it has two parameters the comparator has two parameters a and b uh, also i will be taking the decision on the basis of the max value at the first index and what will i store at the first index i will store the maximum moves that are there corresponding to the current node i have added by default the zeroth node and the max moves that are passed in the input question let's talk about the core method now till the time my priority queue is not empty i'll pull out the nearest element from the priority queue which will be governed by the one that is having the maximum move so far i extract the nearest node id which will be given by nearest element at the rate zeroth index max moves remaining that would be identified by nearest element at the rate first index if my node has not been visited in the past i will continue the process otherwise i'll look for the next operation assuming it is not visited i will mark it as visited and update my answer variable because i'm actually visiting it now let's talk about the core functionality of the method i am iterating over all its neighbors starting from the zeroth index up till the value of n and i check if there exists an edge between the nearest node id and neighbor if there, if there exists an edge which will be given by the fact that it is, its value is not equal to minus one if my neighbor has not been visited in the past i check if my max moves remaining happens to be greater than or equal to the distance between the number of intermediate nodes between nearest node id and the current neighbor plus one because you are actually standing at this particular nearest node id hence we have added one to it if that is the case i add into a priority queue the neighbor and i update the max moves value by max moves remaining minus the distance that was specified in the that is present in the graph and apart from that i also subtract minus one uh, for the nearest node id you can correlate with this line with one that when i have added two and one into the priority queue once i am done with this i check uh, the minimum value out of the max moves remaining and the nearest uh, node id comma neighbor value that is held in the graph i pull out that value i reduce uh, the the distance value across both neighbor and nearest node id and nearest node id comma neighbor and i add it to my answer the same thing that i did in the presentation once i'm done with this loop i return the answer let's try this up this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question, but till then, goodbye.